I figured out why uh, there was all those nuts on the studs on this mirror. Um, it looks like the mirror has been knocked off before and uh, someone replaced the studs with some longer studs from a hardware store and uh, the, uh, they used a, a bunch of oversized nuts to take up the space. But hopefully you won't have that problem. Hopefully your car will still be stock. Sorry. And... So normally I would be putting a, a nut on a stud. The stud's supposed to stay in the mirror housing. And, uh... I should really be, I, I would be normally putting a nut on the stud on this mirror rather than screwing the stud into the housing. Okay, um, that's it. We've replaced the new wipe. Put, uh, we'll put these back on with, uh, I'll go ahead and do that. Let me grab my pick set. If you don't have a pick set, you can probably you can you can do this with screwdrivers. I just it's easier for me if I use a L-shaped pick. And uh, these washers teeth on them and they kind of cut scratch marks in the door on the sheet metal so you'll be able to know pretty much where to set because uh, these uh, these guide pads are uh, adjustable and uh, you'll know from where the washers put scratches you'll know uh, where to set them as far as their adjustment goes. Again, I do not know where these do wipes came from. 
Um, I'm very dissatisfied with them. Uh, they, they don't match the body lines of the door. Um, and the, the quality and workmanship just didn't seem to be there. So I'll, I'll try to ask, I'll try to have my customer uh, tell me where they came from. And uh, I'll, uh, and I won't post it in the video, but I'll, I'll post it over on the sidebar somewhere. Uh, you, you put your two rubber pieces back on. Oh, you put your, the long strip back on. I'm not going to do that right now because, uh, uh, I might be doing some more work on this door, so I'm going to stop here. Uh, but you put your, your long rubber strip on that has the felt, the metal backing plate that goes across, and then your two rubber pieces. I don't bother gluing them back on because uh, the screws do a fine job holding them in place. Uh, and then put the door panel back on. So there you go. Uh, Rodney Dickman's tool. Uh, you can very handy to have. Rodney Dickman has fast shipping, good prices. Uh, support vendors for that do uh, that cater to Fiero stuff. He's got a lot of neat products for Fieros. Uh, I'll, I'll put a I'll try to put a link uh, to his website over on the sidebar also. Sometimes YouTube doesn't let you um, post other websites. Uh, so if if I can't put a, a link to his website directly, do a search for Rodney Dickman, and uh, or the, probably the words Rodney Dickman and Fiero will probably get you to his website. And that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Sorry, uh, sorry I'm in a bad mood. And I'll see you later.